Hey guys, this is Jettaman Dan, uh, doing a quick little how-to video here. Um, it's come up recently on uh, a couple of forums I'm on, uh, RC Power specifically. Um, people asking how to solder connectors. Uh, I'm one of the few people that seems to enjoy soldering, so kind of wanted to put together a real fast video to show how to solder uh, XT60s. Um, there are a lot of the batteries that come on uh, and some of the newer ready to fly planes have this connector. A lot of the batteries from Hobby King have them. Um, but if you don't have them, you need to convert over and you need to be able to solder them. So, a um, couple things that I use. One of the best things that I've ever bought was this. This is the Mr. Jig, uh, sold by Hobby King for like eight bucks. Uh, it has the ability to do bullet connectors of different sizes three and a half, fours, fives, and maybe sixes. And then it has this front piece here that's adjustable that I use this for the Deans and the XT60. Um, a lot of people use the uh, the helping hands for their soldering. These little guys here. Um, I prefer the Mr. Jig. It just seems to be a lot better. So Mr. Jig is uh, something that's helped me out a lot and make soldering pretty quick. Basic stuff, uh, 6040 rosin core solder from Radio Shack. The XT60 of course. Um, some heat shrink. Uh, a cutters for the battery terminal, uh, a strippers for the battery, um, soldering iron. I prefer to go pretty hardcore with my uh, Weller soldering gun. It's uh, 140 watts, uh, heats up instantly and does a really good job and is overkill for some of the hobby stuff, but it also takes out a lot of the time. Uh, battery, of course, this is a Nanotech from Hobby King and it comes with these red bananas that I don't use on anything so I'm going to cut them off uh, and then something to use to uh, to heat the heat shrink up I have this I have a heat gun uh, this little portable butane uh, torch works real well real quick just a couple bucks so um, so very simple some safety um, obviously you do not want the connectors on the battery to touch each other in any way shape or form if possible uh, so what I try to do is one connector at a time. I'll cut the one I want to do first. I'll usually do the red first. Um, you definitely want to get the heat shrink on. Think about that now. Do it now. So get the heat shrink on first. Uh, otherwise, if you forget it, you got to do it after the fact. And then I have my, uh, uh, my strippers. You really don't need a lot of um, wire for the XT60s, just a little bit. Then I'm just going to twist it a little bit. Now the XT60s have a specific positive and negative. Um, this bottom side or the square side, if you look at this, is the positive. It actually shows positive. I don't know if the video is going to show up, but it shows positive there. And then here's where the Mr. Jig comes into play. Put the connector with the one that you want to do that's up into the Mr. Jig, tighten it, and then it's not going to fall out and it's not going to do anything. So I'll try to zoom in here a little bit on the Mr. Jig so we can see what's going on here. And hopefully that'll come out in the in the video. Looks a little blurry, so I'll back up a little bit. Alright, so I'll try to get this in the light for people to see. So the XT60 has this little kind of cup on it. So I'm just going to take my soldering iron here and I'm going to heat it a little bit and get it going. And then this is really the key. You want to fill that cup up with solder. Um, you don't want to have just a little. You want to have a decent amount in there um, because that's what's going to cause the wire to sink into it. So I'm going to touch the metal of the soldering gun to the XT. Kind of hard to see on the video, I know. And then I'm going to feed the solder into it. And I'm going to fill it up until there's a nice puddle and hopefully you can see the puddle on the on the video then I'm going to tin the wire itself um, because you really want solder on the wire too so I'm going to heat my gun up a little bit and I'm going to tin the, the red wire I'm going to try to fill that whole wire up with solder if it's possible. You can put the gun under it and let it heat up. You can put it on the top, whatever whatever works for you. But you definitely want to get a bunch of solder on the wire 
so that it's pretty much soaked into the wire as best you can. And that looks pretty good. So now it's pretty simple. Um, what I like to do, because I burn myself all the time, and I recommend you do this as well, is have a pair of needle nose or something handy where you can actually hold the wire with the needle nose so you don't get burned. Then what you're going to do is you're going to sit the wire on top of the XT60 and you're going to start heating it. Now you're going to wait until the solder on the wire pushes through to the solder in the cup on the connector. Now sometimes it's worth pulling the wire off and making the puddle in the connector wet and then putting it back on the wire so that the two of them kind of hook up together and if you get it right and you let it go then you have a soldered connection now I for the video I kind of went a little overboard on the solder to make it work but as you can see I'm holding the battery by the connection by the Mr. Jig so and then it's just a simple matter of releasing the connector sliding up your um, uh, your heat shrink and heat shrinking it on there and then you're done so that's pretty much that's pretty much it reverse it do it for the black side and you're done um, I hope that uh, kind of helps out people a little bit these batteries that I'm using here these uh, these 5000s are pretty big so the wire size is actually pretty big for the XT60 um, the company I work for uses XT90s on a bunch of their stuff but they're uh, big quadcopters, they're using XT60, so they wanted me to do a couple of these for them. But that's really all there is to it. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, hit me up on rcpowers.com under Jetaman Dan. And appreciate you guys looking.